Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome for the first time. And yeah, hi. <laughs> I feel like I'm vlogged in a hot minute, but I thought I would do a little come study with me vlog today. And you're probably wondering, Ryan, what are you studying for? You're not in school anymore. That is true, but I still have not taken my TESOL, which is Teaching English as a Second Language Endorsement Test for the minor that I did in college. And so I finally scheduled it. I'm taking it next Monday. So I'm taking it on the 25th. I don't know when this video will go up, but I'm taking it on the 25th of March, so by the time you see this, I'll have since taken it, and hopefully I'll have since passed as well. I'm a little nervous because the passing score for this test is higher than the other Westies, and the questions are, in my opinion, a bit harder and more confusing. So, I am nervous. I don't know if I've vlogged it in the past, if it was ever in any of my vlogs, but my bestie Ellie and I both are TESOL or TESOL minors, and so we did a lot of studying together. We got the study book, did all the studying, and it was hard, it was hard. But her and I also studied really hard for our just regular West East to leave the teaching program, and we studied, like I said, really hard for a lot of time, and we passed both of our tests on the first try. So I'm hoping that that studying is carrying in to this. Also, these questions seem a bit outdated, so it's just kind of hard. But anyways, I don't want to not take advantage of the time I have, so I'm going to study, study, study to hopefully take this pass, take this test once and pass. So, as we all know, I do a lot better with studying and doing work when I'm outside of the house, even though I'm animal sitting and this is not my house. Still, if I just sit here, I will get distracted. So I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and I just thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along with me. So we're gonna go right now, it's 11 a.m. And yeah, we're gonna head to the coffee shop, see how much studying I can do. But let me show you a quick fit check before we go because I am I think my fit is cute. Here is the fit, first jewelry, permanent bracelet, this cute ring gold ring, and then my all too well necklace, glasses, of course. And then my outfit, I was like feeling very unsure about the colors, but I think they look good together and I like it, so we're going with it. But I got this like, it's kind of like a navy blue shirt, but also like kind of leaning into purple in a way, but it's like mostly blue. Um, this cute, just like kind of oversized, soft, comfy tee from Old Navy. And then I got these new gray pants from Old Navy. They're kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know how to describe pants, but they're gray and there's a spider on the wall. And then my Crocs, of course, going with my white Crocs because those are the only shoes I have with me. So yeah, but I think it's cute and it's comfy. The jean, the pants, whatever. Cause you gotta do the sit test. Make sure the button's not gonna be like pushing in. And they seemed pretty comfortable Again, most comfortable pair of pants I have with me other than like sweats, and I don't wanna wear sweats, so. Any whoosies, yeah, but we're gonna go, and, oh, before we go, I'm gonna show you what I'm bringing with me in my bag. Okay, we're gonna do a quick what's in my study bag. Um, this is my bag I use for subbing, but now it's also gonna be used for this. So, pencil pouch, of course, always gotta have that for my calendar, or whatever else I'm gonna do. Have my wallet. I have some lip balm and then I have my airpods but those are not going to be the headphones I'm going to use because they make my ears hurt after a while. I have these headphones that I bought um, when I was working on my master's degree. That's what they look like. They're very comfy. So I have my headphones. I have my planner and then a book. My plan is to like take little breaks and sometimes the breaks will be on my phone but I don't want them to all be on my phone so the breaks will also be reading. So this is the book I'm reading, Planner. Then I have my study book for the West E English Language Learners test code is 051. Here's my study book. And then I have my iPad because this is what I'll use to like write my answers on. 
and then my laptop because I'm going to study, but like I have other things that I can do too. Like I might work a bit on my taxes, even though I'm pretty much all set for what I'm, I'm like waiting on a school district to send me a W-2. I don't know why it's so hard to get my information. <laughs> like, it's just weird. They're like, you have to fill out this form. It's gonna take 10 days. Give me my W-2. Why do I have to ask for that? You know I need it. Just send it to me. So that's kind of annoying, but um, so who knows? But if I get it like today while I'm out, then I'm gonna work on that. So anyways, I got my wallet. Um, I'm actually gonna leave that out. So when I get there, I can order. And then, okay. Things are not fitting in. Oh, and I have my water bottle. I have a lot of stuff in here. This backpack is like, it's a backpack, but it's like more not made for like as much stuff as I'm trying to shove in here. And my book's getting a little bit bent, but it's a used book and it's my book, so it's okay. Any whoosies. So that's everything I'm bringing with me and everything is charged up, so I'm not gonna bring my charger. Cause if it gets to the point where anything's dying, then it's probably time to go home, you know? Any whoosies. That's what's in my bag. This is what my bag looks like. It's super cute. <gasps> Love. How did I not know that that's the same brand that I've been seeing all over TikTok? That's so crazy. I didn't know I already had a bag. Here it is. Ugh. Putting it on right now because it is time to go. I'm going to Mac Daddy's. Um, they have two locations. I'm going to the one that's closest to me. The one that I did the majority of my like master's degree at is the other one, but it's just like farther away. And it's, and I usually like sit down in the basement and there's no windows and it's such a beautiful sunny day that I want to be able to like have the sun. So anyways, we're all ready. So let's go. We are in the car and all ready to go. I'm excited to get some caffeine in my system because obviously I haven't had any yet today. I just got my glasses. I don't really want to put them in there, but. They'll be okay. These I feel like need to be cleaned. But it's not that far, so I'll be able to make it. We're gonna go to the coffee shop right now, and I will update you guys when we are there. So we're literally already here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of really nervous to vlog here because this one's so much like more compact, I feel like, than the other one, and like I just feel like it's gonna be way more obvious. So bear with me. Um, hopefully this vlog ends up seeing the light of day because I might get really nervous, but it looks like there's space in there. It doesn't look overly way too crowded from when I drove by. There's like a lot of people in the parking lot, but there's like other things around here, so. Fingers crossed that it's like, I just need I just need somewhere to sit, I guess. That's all I really need, so. Anyways, let's go inside and get our drink and get, get, our, get all situated and get our study on.
besties. I'm getting more and more nervous for my endorsement test because I took, I did all of the practice, I did all of the practice questions. There are 150 of them in the book. It was just as hard, if not harder the first time. These questions, it's so crazy to me because the, okay, TESOL, teaching English as a second language, English language learners, all of that. <laughs> the whole focus, right, is to find the best way to teach students whose first language is not English, English. Like, teach, you know what I mean? Like, the whole point is to make it make sense, right? It's the whole point, is to make it make sense. We talk about comprehensible input. We talk about, you know, doing things that they understand and, like, just like best practices, okay? So tell me why these questions are so hard to focus on, pull out the information that I need. They're so long. They're giving me background information that isn't necessary to answer the question, so it looks menacing and worse than it is. And it's like, I'm literally, I have to reread each question like three times before I can fully understand what it's asking me because I just feel like it's buzzword, 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 and then like expecting me to just like, I don't know, it's so hard. When, when I'm reading through the questions, I can imagine that's what it feels like to read something in another language and have no idea what's going on because that's how it feels like, that's what it feels like. Yet the stuff I'm reading is in English and I speak English. So why does it feel like I'm reading another language? Like I feel like that, I feel like this test out of all the tests should be easy to understand and like straightforward because like the whole goal is working with students who don't, whose first language is not English. So why can't these questions, everything that you're talking about, keep that in mind when you write these questions, okay? <laughs> I'm very nervous for my test. And I'm just like, I'm especially nervous because that passing score is higher. You need more points to pass. And I'm like, okay, that's great. Um, and then also I'm hoping that like when it comes down to it in the moment, you know, obviously it'll be much more quiet. And I'm just hoping that I can pull it together. And then I'm like going through the answers and it's like, while this answer is true, I'm like, okay, so why am I wrong then? <laughs> why are you saying that? And then other things just like make no sense. Like one of the questions was like, talking about the direct method. And so I clicked an answer that had direct in it and they were like, in the direct method, we avoid direct instruction. I'm like, why? What, what, huh, huh? Why, why? I got these and I'm gonna make some note cards, probably some right now. And then my plan is to probably study again tomorrow because I don't have a sub job yet. And now I have to go pick up my W2, W2 form from one of the school districts. I like filled out this form I emailed them, was like, hi, like, how can I get my W-2? Because for some reason, even though they know I need my W-2, they don't just send it out. So I emailed them, they're like, you need to fill out this form. And on the form, it says it could take up to 10 days to process. I don't know what that means, process what? The form? Because I had to send the form and they had to do something with the form. It wasn't just like, oh, send the form, you're good. There were like steps to the form. So I was like, 10 days to process like you responding to the form or 10 days to process to the W-2 because I know it doesn't take 10 days to, to process to the W-2. It's there, it's there, you can do it. So I, got, I get an email back today saying that my form has been completed. And so I'm like, okay, cool. So like, when can I go pick it up? And I selected on my thing to pick it up and to mail it because I just didn't wanna, I just wanted to cover my bases, cover my bases because I'm gonna be going out of town soon and I want to get it done before I go out of town because then by the time I come back, it's gonna be almost time for them to be due. But then I also, I also selected to pick it up. So I was like, do I just show up? So I call and of course I don't know who to call. So I call payroll. And they're like, oh, well, that's just like for the form. It can take 10 days to pro. I'm like, wait, like you, for one, didn't specify what was going to take 10 days to process. You said the, it says on the form, this may take 10 days, like this, this that you're filling out may take 10 days to process. And it didn't, which I'm also like, why should it take that long? Anyway, so then they're like, did you say to mail it or pick it up? And I was like, well, I put both because I'm going to be out of town. And then the guy was like, well, um, I'll have it, I'll put it out there for you and you can come pick it up tomorrow. Oh, so it's not gonna take 10 days because he was like, it's gonna take 10 days. And I was like, okay, or what did I say? I was just like, okay, so like, 
okay, if it is gonna take 10 days and you need to give me the next step so that when that, those 10 days are up and you may or may not reach out to me, I know what's going on. Anyways, but then he's like, oh, you can come pick up tomorrow. Oh, so that's like less than 24 hours. That's not 10 days. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna go pick that up tomorrow, but I have to pick it up between seven and four. So I can't pick it up before school. And depending on where I get a sub job, there's a chance I won't be able to get there by four. So there'd have to be like a really good sub job come up for me to take it because I want to get my taxes done and then I can study again tomorrow. I'm just stressed out a little bit. I'm just really wanna pass it on the first try. And I feel like if I don't pass on the first try, I'm gonna be even more discouraged when I take it the next time because like, I'm already feeling discouraged and I haven't even taken it yet. On a more positive note, also <laughs> I get home to the person I'm animal sitting for and there's this person like across the street in the driveway wearing like, kind of looks like a Spider-Man type suit, but it's suit, but it's not red, it's not Spider-Man. But it's like, that's the kind of vibe the suit was giving off. And they're like by this car and they're doing something like this. And I look at them and I'm like, don't know what's going on. So I look away and then they go, hi neighbor. And I was like, hi. <laughs> For one, not your neighbor, just the, just the animal sitter. Two, don't know if it was a kid, couldn't tell what was going on. And then they were like doing the stuff, so I had to go back out to make a second trip to get stuff from the car, come back in, and I go to shut the door, and they're like, and I tried to wave, but then they looked away, so I don't know. Any hoosies, okay, so at Mac Daddy's, they sell earrings. Like they have someone that makes handmade earrings, and then they, you know, promote them there. And I bought a couple before. So earlier today, I got up to go throw away some of my trash and just take a standing break because my butt was hurting from sitting on the chair for like two hours straight. So I was looking at the earrings and I found the cutest Easter earrings because we are going to my grandma's for spring break and we will be there for Easter. And my grandma um, is very involved with her church and likes to go to church, so we go with her. And I love going to her church so much, to be honest with you. Anyway, so I thought, oh my gosh, I'll have Easter earrings for Easter Sunday. So let me show you them. I feel, hold on, I'm just gonna hold up one. Can you see it? It's so blurry. I don't know, but it's a mini Easter egg and it's pink and blue and it's super cute. So I got some Easter earrings, most exciting part. There was this lady like walking around clearly trying to sell something. So I was trying really hard not to make eye contact because I was like, I don't want anything to do with this. <sighs> Thank goodness she persevered and got, I had headphone, like noise canceling headphones on too. I'm like, she's not gonna interrupt me. She did. And you know what? Thank goodness she did because you know what she was selling? You know what these boxes are. You know what she was selling. Girl Scout cookies. I did cave. I had a $20 bill, so I bought five bo four boxes because they're $5 each. I got a box of do -si Do's, one box of Thin Mints, and then I just decided to get two boxes of my favorite tag along. So maybe I'll give my parents one of these, share with them. So, so excited for Girl Scout cookies. I didn't really take any breaks earlier. I just kind of powered through, so I'm gonna take a much deserved break right now. Don't mind me trying to train my hair. Um, also, I like curled my hair, but for some reason these pieces like didn't curl. So then I just brushed it out instead. And I'm just like not happy with how it looks, but you know, what can you do? I could fix it, but I don't care that much. So this was supposed to be like a study vlog. Not sure how much studying is gonna be done today, but I figured I would just continue vlogging a little bit and tell you what's going on. So. I am about to get dressed and then head over to a school district to pick up my W-2 form. Once I have that W-2 form, I can finish my taxes, so that's very exciting. And I applied for a credit card last night. My first ever credit card got approved, so it's coming in the mail, so that's exciting. I need to return my Snapshot Progressive little car thing. I ended up getting a discount for my insurance rate based on my good driving so that's nice then my parent my dad's snowmobiling today and my mom's gonna be at work late so skeeter's gonna be alone for a while today so i'm gonna go over there and let her out not just yet but later today and then yeah i'm not sure what else is gonna happen so i figured we'll just continue the vlog and yeah but right now i'm gonna get dressed and then we will head over to the school district to get the w2 form chill outfit grand canyon university crew neck Black leggings from Old Navy, and then my white Crocs. That's pretty much it. We got it. 
I'm gonna show you the other side where my address is, but we got the W-2 form, all is well. I'm listening to an audiobook. It's called, By the Time You Read This, I'll Be Gone. It's really good so far, actually, I'm enjoying it. But that was really easy, I just walked in. Okay, so when I walked in, something like rang. It was like, ding, ding, and so like, obviously the people knew I was there, and so somebody came out, but they have a bell that says, please ring for service. And then also, last night I got, um, uh, a California roll and the place I went to you pull up to the window and if they don't see you there's a thing that says ring for service am I the only one that feels so guilty doing that like they literally say ring for service but I'm afraid that I'll go to do it and then they'll show up and I'll look like I'm being impatient like every single time I'm worried about that but they put it out there so why should I be worried about it I didn't do anything I'm just doing what they literally asked. But it makes me feel so, like, anxious every time. Anyways, I got my W-2. It's 11.16. I don't want to go let Skeeter out until, like, 12.30-ish. Because my dad left. Let's say he left at 8. So, and my mom's, and he's not going to be home until, like, I, I'm going to say, like, maybe 4. Could be later, though. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 hours. So, I'd want to go about halfway through that. So, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12 ish. So, yeah. So, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I might just head back to the doggy's house and finish my taxes right now. I also want to get a drink, but I don't know if I'm going to get that locally or like around here or when I go to Sea Skeeter. I don't know. But I'll keep you guys updated with whatever I do next. I went to this new coffee shop that I see a lot. That It's not new, it's new to me, but I've never been there. It's called Outback Espresso and I've passed it multiple times it's like nearby where the district office is and like I animal sit out here a lot so anyways so I went there and tried to drink and I think it was called a sunshine rebel red bull it was like peach and something and cream it's very like cream looking but it's really good and they were so quick and friendly it was wonderful I am about to transfer some of my clips um, from my camera to my computer and I was deleting some old clips and I accidentally deleted a clip that I recorded earlier. <sighs> I don't really remember what I said, but I'm gonna try to say it again. I was basically saying that I didn't know the last time I updated you, but I came home after I got my W-2 form and I completed my taxes. Sorry, I look like a raccoon. Don't mind the mascara. Um, I completed my taxes and I'm getting a tax refund for the first time ever, so I'm really excited about that because it's a good amount of money, I think, personally, considering I never get anything. Anything is better than nothing, so did that, and then my friend Ellie, bestie Ellie, told me that a school district near us has posted some jobs, which was shocking information to learn. I am going to apply for them, but this school district is the only school district left in the world. No, probably not, but in this area that still does like physical application so I have to like take it in um anyway so when I was at my apartment earlier I printed out the application and filled it out so I have done that I still have to gather the like other documents to print out but I'm having some people like I'm having a few new people write me letter letters of recommendation and then I'm having some other people like revisit my old ones just to like check you know but I need to turn it in ASAP because I go out of town a week from today and I'm not gonna have them ready to turn in like tomorrow or Friday so that really leaves Monday and Tuesday and I want to turn it in before I go out of town just in case. There's no closing date, it's just open until filled. The in-district closing date is Friday, which is two days from now. So if I turn it in Monday or Tuesday, I feel like I'll be pretty safe. Um, but I just wanna get those in as soon as possible. So anyways, did that. And then what else did I do? I've done a couple extra things since I updated you last. I went on all of my job op op job application profiles and updated my resume and cover letter slash letter of interest. The only things I still haven't updated, updated yet are updated letters of recommendation or new ones, but I still have them, so they're just in there for now. I started some laundry. What else did I do? Oh, also, I went to my parents' house and let Skeeter out and spent some time with Bailey and Bear, which is, which are our kitties. 
And so yeah, I spent time with the three of them. Skeeter went and potty, all that good stuff. My dad's home now, so she was able to go to the bathroom again. So I think I wanted a good time. And yeah, I think that's everything. So I'm about to transfer these clips to my computer along with some from my phone, just so I can kind of keep everything organized. And then it's 4.45 right now, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do next. I might start editing a YouTube video, could report a, record a podcast episode so I'm ahead of the game. I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I'll update you if it is anything interesting. So anyways, that's that. I'm gonna try not to delete this clip again because that was really annoying that I did that. It is Friday. Please don't mind the fact that I'm wearing the same shirt from earlier in this vlog. Um, I've since done laundry <laughs> and it's one of the few shirts that I brought with me to where I'm animal sitting that goes with the pants that I'm wearing. So let me show you my quick fit check. Here we are, got these like, they're like a cream kind of flannel cargo, not flannel, um, uh, linen cargo pant kind of deal. So nothing too crazy, but I think they're cute. But my other shirts just don't go with these, with the pants very well. And that's what I have with me. So anyways, I am about to, two things. So a couple weeks back, my friend Margaret and I did some pottery painting and the pieces are ready and neither of us have gone to pick them up yet. So, um, but I'm gonna go pick mine up right now because uh, it's kind of like close enough to being on the way to meet my mom for lunch. So you'll get to see her. It's like noon right now. Well, it's coming up on 12.20 and she's trying to leave work at 12.30. They have conferences this week. And because she stayed late the last two days, she gets to leave early today. So we're gonna have lunch together. And then I'm gonna stop by my apartment because I got a package. And then I'm also going to get Bestie Ellie's gift together because I'm seeing her tomorrow. And I think we're gonna give each other our birthday gifts because we haven't seen each other since too long, too long. Um. Anyways, so I'm gonna go to my apartment, get all of that together and bring it here. Or I might just get the stuff and bring it here and then, cause I need to get like a gift bag. I don't really know past getting this stuff. So we'll just kind of see and I'll keep you updated, but I'll be able to show you because she's not gonna see this video till way later. Cause I'm actually a couple weeks ahead right now. So by the time you're seeing this video, should be a couple weeks past. Everything is good here with the doggies. It's like kind of raining. So they're spending more time inside, I think. But luckily there's enough area that's like covered outside. So they don't have to stay inside to stay out of the rain. There's like covered areas, so. That's good, but I think I'm going to get ready to get in the car because my mom wants to leave at 12.30, it's 12.21, so I kind of want to get to the place because I don't know how long it'll take to give it to me, like if she's busy, like I just have no idea. So I want to make sure I have time to do that and then meet, time to meet my mom, and I'm gonna listen to my audiobook in the car, so I'm okay if I have time to kill, you know? I think that's the update for now. So we are going to get in the car and go get our pottery. I'm so excited to show you. I think it's, the piece is cute. My painting job on the other hand, we'll see how it turned out. Stop, it looks so cute. Way better than I was expecting. Way better, because when I was done painting, I was like, huh, hope this looks okay. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> Is it a perfect paint job? No, but it's pretty good. I'm obsessed. It's a piggy bank. <laughs> it feels so nice. Oh my goodness. And then I have like a stopper, you know, put the money in. <gasps> I'm literally obsessed. And I saw Margaret's. It's so cute. It's so cute. I think she's coming sometime this weekend to pick it up. Anyways, can't wait to start putting my change in there. I don't have anywhere to hold change in my house. In my car, I have a little thing that's full. So maybe I should have, maybe I'll have to empty it in there. <laughs> I'll make a clip. And um, yeah, take it, take a me? test. Yes, it's recording. Um, so yeah, we're having lunch. We're having a really good time, right, Mama? Yes, and yummy clam chowder. Yeah, really good. And um, Ryan stole my muffin. We did split her English muffin. No, English muffin. <laughs> no, cornbread muffin. Um, yeah. Good. Huh? Cornbread muffin. Good. <laughs> so we're gonna eat, and we'll update you guys later. Okay. Bye. Tell them how much fun we had, and 
You look like you're about to rob us. <laughs> Hi, besties. <laughs> oh, wait, I've got a phone call. Sorry. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later, honey. Bye. Bye, besties. <laughs> we had a really good lunch. We didn't eat bananas. We had yummy food and a great conversation and... Um, yeah, two hours later we're leaving. <laughs> so well, Mama invited me into the car for a post. Uh, Ryan abducted me <laughs> for a post um, brief sesh. Yes. So and, uh, now I'm heading home. She's gonna stalk me on my way home. <laughs> she can't keep up with me on the freeway. So <laughs> some of us drive safer than others, yes, but that's some all. Some of us have better car insurance. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got a rate. Okay. I mean a discount. Someone's here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye. It was like the most painful Dollar Tree visit of my whole entire life. That was very painful. <sighs> they had like one person checking out. It always is so annoying because they'll have like one person checking out and then like it, like six people stocking the shelves. <laughs> and I'm like, can we maybe worry about that later? Like the shelves are stocked. Every No one is at, no, we're good. We're good on the shelves. Can we please just check people out because then you have the eye the lines are like all the way down the whole aisle it was it was a lot so anyways it was, it was painful it was painful but then they finally opened up another checker so i was able to get through but i thought i'd do a quick dollar tree haul i also got ellie's gift from my apartment but i will show you that when we get back to the doggy's house when i put it together but i got these pretzels to try i've never seen them before but when I was standing in line for 30 hours, I saw them. They're called Pop Daddy Pretzels. I got garlic, parme par <laughs> garlic Parmesan pretzel sticks and then Peppercorn Ranch. I don't know. They sounded really good. So I thought I would try them. And then I got these for travel. They're like little Q-tip boxes. They each have 50 in them, which should be enough because I'm going to my grandma's for spring break and then going to Arizona. But they're like infused. So this one's infused with green tea oil and then this one's infused with rose oil. And it's by the brand Be Pure and they're a pretty good dollar store brand. So anyways, got these two. The reason I got them now, I haven't really like fully like started buying like travel things to prepare for my trip. But the thing with the dollar store is that you never know if you'll see them again. So I did get these just cause I saw them. And then I got tissue paper for Ellie's gift, a birthday card, it's so cute. And then I got this like mesh laundry bag that I think I'm gonna use for my dirty clothes on my trip. Again, they didn't have a lot of them and I thought, what if they're like sold out the next time I go? So I got one. And then last but not least, I've been wanting to like style my hair with just my blow dryer. But I don't know how to do that, but I do know I don't have the proper brush for it. So, but I don't wanna buy some fancy brush. So I just bought a simple round brush to try it out with so whenever I wash my hair next I will try it out was that worth it the weight not sure <laughs> um yeah not really sure I guess we'll see how these um pretzels taste I want these are the garlic parmesan ones Wow. Those are good. I'm gonna say like eight out of 10. I feel like they might be a little a little too seasoned for my liking, ideally, but they're really good. We're gonna head back to the doggy's house. I'm gonna listen to my audiobook on the way there and then we'll put together Ellie's gift. I am back at the doggy's house and, sorry, I'm <laughs> just moving stuff. This is the bag I'm gonna put Ellie's gift in. Technically it's already in there, but it hasn't been like, you know, whatever. So I'm gonna show you what I got her. Okay, first things first, I got her a jelly cat and I'm giving her the little bag it came in because I just think it's so cute. But I got her, it's like a little mocha shot because um, she likes to make her own coffee and she has like a uh, like coffee machine. So cute and it still sits. So I got her this little jelly cat. Next, so she recently got this Bobby Goods coloring book, and I have a Bobby Goods coloring book. <sighs> They're so fun, but we were talking about how hard it is to like start coloring something 
so big and then like not being able to finish it like you just want to finish it so i saw these cute like little mini coloring books on tiktok shop and i was like oh my god these are perfect because this is like if you just want to color a little bit but you don't want to start like a whole big thing that you don't know if you'll have time to finish they're so cute okay so they have like different themes this one is tiny eats and treats little moments and then pocket pets so they're just like little mini um i don't want to bend it too much because like that's how you take them off out but they're just like little mini uh, let me turn open one page little mini things to color you do as many of these as you want in a sitting but that way you can color without having to commit to wanting to like color a whole page so i got her these three little coloring books and then the star of the show i'm so excited about this this is a book series she's read the first book and she wants to read the rest of the books and she introduced me to this series and i just recently finished the first book and it was so good and they she bought the book off the first book off pango books and it has like the old cover but she really likes the new cover and she was talking about how she wishes she could have like all of the new colors in the set covers for her full set but since she already has one book from the other one she doesn't know well i got her the full set of the books with the new covers it's the naturals this is what they look like the covers are so cute like look at these those are so aesthetically pleasing so i got her the box set of the books so she can have the new covers as her full set so i'm so excited for her to see this i'm so excited so we are going to set up the gift i'll just do probably like a little time lapse let you watch me set up the gift and yeah oh and then at the dollar store i already showed you this but i got her a card and then some tissue paper so i'm going to fill out the card afterwards but that is her gift and i'm so excited to give it to her tomorrow morning besties it is monday and it's 10 45 a.m i'm taking my test at 11 30 it's only 15 minutes away so why am i leaving 45 minutes you might be asking i'm nervous that's why it's about 15 minutes to get there and then you're supposed to be there 15 minutes early but the play i'm going to a different testing site than i've gone to before so i don't know exactly like it tells me where to park, but I'm like nervous. I'm like, what if the parking is like full? I just don't know what to expect. So I'm leaving extra early. There could be traffic. You just never know. So I'm giving myself 15 minutes. I'm only giving myself 15 minutes of extra time. Because I'm leaving 45 minutes early. It takes 15 minutes approximately to get there. I'm supposed to be there 15 minutes early. So that gives me 15 minutes of like leeway, you know, to get there and like relax a little bit cleaning my glasses so I have nice clean glasses for the test I'm a bit nervous I took another practice test last night and I got 90% that's probably the best score I've ever gotten so that feels good but it's just like I just don't know what to expect and it's so hard because I can't I don't know how to like compute that 90% to like the actual rubric you know because it is based on the scale that starts at 100 huh why i don't could not tell you so i can't be like oh 90 percent would equal this score so i don't even know if a 90 percent is a good score i just know that in general 90 is like a good number <laughs> like on a on a test but that's all i know also i have my application it's a thick stack so i have my reference letter the physical application that was four pages my resume my teaching certificate letters of recommendation my transcripts from central and wgu which are my central transcripts are multiple pages long. My NES results for that I took to get my teaching certificate, that's multiple pages long. It's a thick stack of papers, but I'm gonna turn this in today. Here's what's gonna happen. If I pass the test today, I'm gonna come home, make a copy of my results, and turn it in with this, because I wanna show proof that I have the endorsement. 
if I don't pass the test, I'm just going to go straight to the school district and turn it in. So regardless of how I scored today, at least I'm turning in a job application. So there is that. I'm wearing a fairly comfy outfit. Something that's comfortable, but something that makes me feel like a little bit more professional if I go to turn in my application. But also nothing with words on it because I don't remember if they're like weird about the clothes you're wearing. Because like I know that... One time I took a test and I had my jeans rolled up and they made me unroll my jeans to make sure I didn't have anything. So I just can't remember. So that's why I don't want to wear a sweatshirt or something because I wear sweatshirts like only with no shirt underneath and I don't want them to be like, you're going to take the sweatshirt off and I'm like, I can't. So I'm just wearing a plain t-shirt, <laughs> very plain outfit that's comfortable but also professional enough to drop off my application without being in leggings and a sweatshirt. So that's that. Um, I have a cheese stick so that I have something in my system before I take the test and then also I've been drinking an Alani because I didn't want to get a drink on the way there and then not have the chance to finish it so I've been drink drinking this this morning to get the caffeine in my body anyways it's now I've been talking to you for four minutes and I'm supposed to have left four minutes ago so we're gonna go I'll update you when I get there I can't bring anything in with me except for like my phone and my ID and I'll have to bring my keys but I don't know what their setup's like there, but I assume they'll have like a little like locker for me to put it in like the other places do. I'm gonna listen to my audiobook or some music on the way there and just try to relax. So I'll update you guys when I get there. I just pulled in. I'm in one of the visitor spots, which is where they said to park. But I'm supposed to find building A and I'm at building F. So that's concerning, but it's all like right here. So, yeah, please park in the designated visitor parking spots, which I am, and use the main entrance of Building A. As you enter Building A, please check in at the admissions desk. From there, you'll be directed to the assessment center. <sighs> okay, I think I'm just going to go in, like, right now because I don't want to, like, I don't know if that says A. Like, that looks like the main building to me, but I just want to go so I can, like, make sure I know for sure. Anyways, I'm, I'm just listening to my hype song, which is Time of Our Lives by Pitbull. <laughs> it's my hype song. And I'm gonna just get out my ID so I'm not bringing in all my stuff because I'm not supposed to like have it all with me anyways. So I'm just gonna bring my ID, my keys and my phone. Wish me luck you guys. When the, the next time I, oh there's someone coming. The next time I update you, I should hopefully have an endorsement. So wish me luck and I will talk to you guys in like two and a half hours. Anyways, okay, bye. I'm so scared. I'm so, oh, got my testing sticker I guess I can take that off now <sighs> I haven't looked yet so when I took my <laughs> my NES test just for like the getting out of the teaching program they like gave it to you like folded up and this girl just took it right off the printer and handed it to me and I had to I was, she's like here's your and I'm like thank you folded it up really quickly because I, I needed to oh, you guys I needed a piece so badly towards the end so I went and tried to find a bathroom right after I was done with the test so I was like I need to fold this up so I don't accidentally look at it <sighs> I'll tell you though okay so it was 110 oh I'm not really supposed to talk about it but that's public information it's 110 questions okay and obviously when you take a test you can like flag them for review and then go back and look at them and there were two questions that like I didn't answer so I flagged those for review anyways when I went back through and after I like answered the two questions I hadn't answered and then checked on all the ones that I flagged for review and then unflagged them the deepest breath came out of me because I was like okay I'm done also I finished with three minutes left I finished the questions with like probably more like 17 minutes left but then I used that time to go back through and review all the things that I flagged because I flagged quite a few at the beginning about oh, a little over halfway through I got a bit more confident with my answers I don't know if that was just because I was like okay let's speed this up like just if you don't know right away flag them and come back but I flagged a lot more at the beginning than I did um, at the end and then I can't tell if I'm hungry or if I'm like feeling kind of shaky because I was just so nervous <sighs> I'm so scared you guys to look I'm so scared I don't want to be disappointed but I f okay in all honesty I could definitely see it like going either way like I would not be surprised if I f didn't pass but I wouldn't be surprised if I did does that make sense I guess it's probably time we should look right I should just rip the band-aid off also, it was really easy. They, you, like I told you guys that one time I went, like I had to unroll my jeans. And I, when I read through the paper, they were like, we might ask, we're going to ask you to like lift your hair, pat down your pockets. She did nothing. 
She was like, okay, let's go. I was like, oh, oh, like I felt somewhat confident. So I guess it's just time to look. <sighs> the score does not define me. The score does not define me. It was hard. I studied a lot. And even during the studying, like, I was like, yikes. And I I consider myself to be a pretty good test taker. So, like, all things considered, it's not a biggie. I can always do it again. And it doesn't define who I am. So, let's get into it. I passed. Uh, <laughs> there's no way. There is no way. It says Pat. Okay. I opened this up and right away I got nervous because I knew that the official scores were going to be emailed to me. But I, th but when I got my other one back from Central, they emailed me my scores at a later date, but my paper told me my score in the moment too. I swear it did. I swear it did. So I'm opening this and I'm like, I'm not seeing any numbers. I'm just seeing that this is like confirmation that I took it. So I was like staring at it and I was like, I don't. And then right here, West English language learners pass. You guys, I passed. Oh my god. That being said, because it doesn't have the scores like I thought it did, there's nothing for me to turn in a copy of <laughs> to the school that I'm applying for. So I'll just have to leave that. But I'm going to write in there that I have a new endorsement because I do have it officially. I have it. I have it officially. Hopefully I have a pen on me. I'm just going to add it in. I need to text my parents. Stop. Oh my god, Ellie's gonna be so proud of me. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. I can't believe I passed. That is so crazy. This is such a good end to this vlog. I was not really sure how this vlog was going to end. That's crazy, you guys. That's crazy. I need to text my parents. Um, but I think I am going to end the vlog here because while I'm going to go apply, and that's kind of like part of the productivity vlog, all I'm going to do is turn in the paper and leave. So that's all. So there's nothing really to update you guys on um, in terms of the job application. Obviously, if something happens in the future, I'll let you know. But I guess this is where the vlog ends. Your girl has her TESOL endorsement. Oh my God, you guys, I can't even, I can't. I'm so shocked. I can't wait to see my score. I don't care if I got 240, the passing score. I don't care. I passed. This just feels so good. This feels like such a relief. And it's so crazy because I was so nervous. Like, I literally was like, I will not be surprised either way. I could see it going both ways. Like, even during the test, there were times that I felt confident. And then there were other times where I literally laughed to myself. Because I was like, I have no idea. Literally no idea. Dang. Oh my god. Okay, thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this journey. I need to text everybody and tell them I passed. And then I need to probably grab some food because I'm, like, shaking still. I'm hungry. And then I'm going to go take my job application and turn it in how exciting so thank you guys so much for watching this little study turned productivity vlog slash whatever is in this vlog thank you guys so much for watching i am so happy and this was such a good way to end end this vlog or whatever i'm just shocked i'm so excited anyways love you guys so much if you did enjoy this video please feel free to like comment and subscribe i would love for you to stick around and i will talk to you guys next time bye